Hello YouTube, Nathan here from Summon to Nothing. Just going to run through a comparison between my old and my new tarp setup. So once they're set up, I'll run through a few comparisons between the two. Okay? Now as you can see behind me, I've finished setting up the two tarps. This is my old setup, this is the new setup. Okay, so here we are with tarp setup number one. Uh, if you were watching the video, you can see it's quite fiddly to set up. I used a lot of paracord for the top rope, which took time to untie, untangle, and then sort of staking out the poles. They're not that stable. You know, it would require a lot of pegs and rope to make that more stable. It's not the strongest setup and there isn't a huge amount of protection underneath. When I've slept under it in the past, unless it was direct rainfall from above, it didn't really offer a huge amount of protection. It's not ideal for many reasons. Also, it's quite low underneath and to add protection, you can lower the poles and retention but again, you're limited just to lying down on your side. It's quite difficult to cook underneath your kit. There's nowhere dry really to store your kit. You have to pack it all up in your bag and then put your waterproof cover on your bag and then just hope that rain doesn't come in heavy sideways. Without the bivy bag, it would be an absolute nightmare to sleep under. It's just really not ideal. I could set it up in a sort of single pitch arrangement, but again, you've got an exposed side. So given the comparison in the weight, the fact that this is heavier and takes up more space in my pack, you can understand why I was looking for a way of getting away from this setup. And when I saw the three by three meter tarp setups all over YouTube, I was keen to sort of look into that and see where we could go with it. So now let's move on to the DD hammock three by three. So here we are in the three by three. As you can see, from the setup video it's a lot less complicated to set up it's the easier to set up in a wind because you stake the whole sheet out flat on the ground and then you work inside to erect the poles to build it up it already has tension from the way this sheets already staked out it uses less tent pegs but as you can see it's far more stable than the original setup it doesn't wobble around as much the sheet comes right the way down to the ground on three sides which gives you excellent weather and wind protection there's more headroom I can comfortably sit up in here I could put my roll mat down as a seating pad sit on that and cook comfortably in the dry if you're gonna set this up like any normal sort of tapered tent you would point the shallower end into the weather I believe the idea of leaving the door open is so you've got better ventilation to reduce the condensation in the inside of the tent it gives such a massive amount of space for what it is uh, I mean I can get all of my kit in here if I had a bed for Moby I could put Moby one side kit there me over here nothing's gonna get rained on in the night it's not as much of a hassle it just feels more enclosed it's just all round gonna be a more comfortable place to sleep I mean this is as well this is just the one setup this is just the first setup if you go on YouTube and look at three by three type setups. There are loads more type setups. There's like a pyramid setup where the front seals right the way up. So if it was extreme weather, you would be able to protect yourself completely and seal the door. It does need to be used in conjunction with a bivy bag or um, some form of ground sheet, which is gonna add weight. Both of these setups I use with a 500 gram bivy bag. It is quite a heavy bivy bag, but it is durable and I do trust it. I have faith in that item. But again, there is another element where I could possibly save some weight and space in the pack because it is quite a big item. So all in all, really impressed with the DD Hammock 
three by three. I have yet to use it in the field. Both times I've tried using my last tarp whilst on Summit or Nothing, it has ended up raining and it has been questionable whether it was the right tool for the job. And I, there were times where I started to deviate in my brain thinking maybe I should relook at one man tents. But this, I think this is gonna serve the purpose. I think this is, this is lightweight, this is durable, and it packs up small. So we'll see where we go from here. Okay, so that's enough for me for today, guys, on my learning curve on tarps. Hopefully some of you have found this informative so far with the research I've done. My current recommendation for tarp camping would be the DD Hammock Superlight 3x3. If you have any questions or suggestions or you do things differently and you think there's something I've missed or a simple trick that might come in handy when I'm on the trail with this tarp, let me know in the comments below. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe share our videos other than that we'll see you next time on summon or nothing for more of our hapless adventures